Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, you cause us to pause in the midst of life and find our place and discover our joy. And Lord, we may not realize where we ended up, but you make it a place of beauty when we experience your grace and your love. And we ask, oh Lord, for that feeling of grace and love to be upon people, deeply sinners, deeply lost, deeply deceived. Those who believe that they're right, that their path is right and are so, so deluded in what your truth is. Lord, we pray for those who hold up a Bible and don't know what it means. We pray for those who declare your spirit and have never been in fellowship. Lord, we pray for those who are so determined to be good, but are too keen on being righteous in their own right. So Lord, humble your church. Humble Christians. Help us to serve and to be willing to be served. To care and to open our hearts to be cared for. Lord, bless our children. Lord, bless the children in their learning. Lord, bless the children in their discovery, and especially in their play. And they remind us what it means to be your children, as they are our way to follow into the kingdom of God, as we search for Christ and the way to Christ in our lives. Lord, keep us humble and kind in Christ, we pray. Amen. Turning in God's word today, we turn to wise words of the Proverbs, chapter 6. Reading at verse 6. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which have no guide, overseer, or ruler, but provideth her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. And one of the sure signs of harvest, at least in our area, is the blossoming of sunflowers. And I'm standing here in a happy field of sunflowers at Fletcher's Farm and am always reminded as I look at farms and even though that this is sort of a play area farm all the the work that goes into uh, providing from fields like this field like this yes it provides beautiful flowers but it also provides food and oil and, and other resources and good fodder and, and good mulch for future gardens we look at the, the at the rest of the setup and all the things that that uh, those who labor on the land do so much for so many people and are so often taken for granted. And so the Proverbs tell us to consider the ant. And, and while the, 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 the proverb writer is pointing to the ant, really they're, they're pointing to, to those who are ants in the midst of us, those whose work does not end, who prepare for the season ahead, who know that the, the seasons are changing, that the times are changing, and yet are, are not just a little bit engaged, but recognize it as a time of harvest and are keen to, to, to get about the Lord's work. And so I want to encourage you today to, to even though you've been enjoying the, the rest and, and, the, and the relaxation of what I pray was a beautiful summer season is to, to look about you in your life and to see the opportunities to, to be engaged, to bring things together, to rejoice in the graces that God gives us by using them together and by blessing others with the great blessings that fill your life. That we might be a storehouse of faith for those who come to us in need, for those who come to us lost in their way, and for those that God sends into our lives to, to receive healing and hope and faith. May God bless you to be a blessing. Amen.